in Zimbabwe. Approximately 70% of cattle are sold in the first six months of every year, creating a glut on the market in the first half of the year and this results in prices going down. This action doesn't only work against the price that the farmer receives. It also results in a national shortage of quality beef and undersupply of abattoirs and butcheries in the second half of the year. Normally, prices increase in the second half of the year as pastures and cattle body condition score deteriorates and most farmers would have sold their livestock earlier. However, there have been a few documented examples of smallholder farmers being able to take advantage of these market movements and selling the right animals. If it are new, Kobo Kobo, Madispanda, fit lot, they are fit in Komo, lap, dog especially, or fit in Komo, Nazel, Laguan, and Nasia Tengis, Ama Paisa, Kona, Abbe, Marte, Ganting Nasas Tengis, a lapa local. Questions cutting, adding and some voting Komo now, we take a lapa local five hundred, who figure an adequate MC, Babu Teng, and now we fit the way, a male eight thousand. Group. <laughs> Sia fita sibili nkomo ukuthenga isinkomo ngafidanga kuluhlupho sibili olukhulu kakhulu ngoba inkomo yangikhona eyabivele ingayenze kakhulu ingeke ukunika imali oyifunayo kodwa ukufida kulomehlo komkhulu kakhulu sibili ungayithatha uzoyifida lapho usayithenga isusu ifidile uyigroupu labanye kulomehlo komkhulu kakhulu than ukuthi uyithatha esibayeni ubiza umuntu nje azothenga yakutshela intengo yakha ayifunayo Lao ngosu poya busu sanga ne lalu busu pongo teni sanje ni mali NIC. Pen fattening, which is also called feedlotting, refer to the feeding of beef cattle with a protein balanced, high energy diet for a period between 45 to 90 days under a confined environment, so as to improve slaughter grades and weights. Animals are fed an energy and protein balanced diet to allow for muscle development and fat deposition. Muscle development increases in live weight gain, while fat deposition improves the carcass fat cover. Both are of commercial importance when farmers sell their animals. Smallholder farmers, therefore, need to grasp both the rationale behind pen fattening and the process of pen fattening itself. <laughs> Why do we need to fatten cattle? Number one, to increase the degree of finishing of fatness so as to achieve better slaughter grades. Number two, pen fatten animals should grade commercial going up, aiming for choice and super grades. Number three, to add extra weight and to increase turnover. And lastly, to take advantage of seasonally high prices. At uh, Feeder Filets, it's a program which empowers farmers. Uh, apparently, we had seen that farmers, they were losing a lot of money by selling uh, their, their cattle at a very low price. Why? How? They were selling the cattle at a very low price because they would not sometimes feed the cattle. So they would rather sell it off the veld or the middlemen would come in between, buy them, feed them, and then sell them at a profit. So feed of finance, the way it operates, it's a, it doesn't sometimes operate all year round. 
but it can operate air all year round if there is a drought. So what it does is usually around uh, mid June, July, August, September, October, November, the prices of meat, quality meat, was if you go to the Abato, we've got uh, four grades. That is the super grade, which is the first grade, uh, commercial or choice, uh, economy and manufacture. So usually be, when you go around uh, June, July, August, the cattle, they will lose their condition and usually you find a lot of manufacture coming onto the market. Manufacture grade is the lowest grade and the prices tend to be very low at that time. And usually we encourage farmers to feed their cattle so that at least by feeding their cattle they will get a better grade like if they feed a manufacturer. It will sometimes go to economy or to commercial which will be fetching more because on the market there won't be a lot of commercial on the market. So we are encouraging farmers when they feed their cattle instead of selling those valueless bobbies at a value uh, 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 price, it's better they feed them. So what we do with the feeder filets is we come, we engage the farmers, we sometimes train them before we before we do anything on the best bobby to put in a feedlot. But sometimes we get farmers who have got only two, three cattle, but that cattle will be so malnourished that to send it to the abattoir it will fetch uh, a billable cost. So what we do is we encourage that farmer, uh, after teaching them, to feed the bobe, at least even if it goes to economy, they will have got a better value than manufacture. For example, usually prices for manufacture, they drop as far as $2 or a dollar something. But you find the price of commercial will be about $5 or $6 or $7. Right now, the prices are at $7. So that gap, that's the bridge which we are trying to, 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 to narrow so that the farmer benefits. Knowledge in cattle production and marketing will help you make money.